Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new series. I am in, I am playing on another SMP server. This is the Hocus Pocus Minecraft server. Uh, it's a group called Abracadabra, and much like my Infinite Labs series, pretty much everybody on this server either streams on Twitch or uploads YouTube videos like myself. So, this should be a lot of fun. Also, one thing that really drew me to this server was the fact that they have a age 21 and over policy, which I think is really nice because I'm 25 and sometimes playing with 13 year olds gets aggravating, shall we say. Um, but, I've done a little bit of work so far. Um, the game is on hard mode, so I don't really want to run around outside right now. But, oh, I should probably craft myself some armor while I'm doing this. Uh, but basically, I have staked out a land. The world border right now, it is a 3,000 by 3,000 area. Um, I am roughly 800 blocks or so uh, east, I think, right? West. I am about 800 blocks or so west of spawn, 700 blocks. Um, my nether portal came out in an ocean, which is fantastic. That's that pillar that you see over there. But luckily there was this lovely little area nearby, so this is where we're going to set up our base. Now, this is our little starter home. It's ugly and terrible, and it will not be our home for very long. But we will improve upon it, and I have to say, there is at least a lot of nice open space here. Uh, there's also a nice big ravine down below, which we can make use of for mining. So this might not be too bad. What I am a little concerned about is I'm seeing a very distinct lack of trees. Not seeing a whole lot of trees around here. Um, I believe this is a snow plains, ice plains, same difference, ice plains biome. Uh, so we will have to look around a little bit and hopefully be able to find some trees elsewhere. Maybe there's a forest nearby over those hills or something. I haven't really explored the area a whole lot. But as this is a new series, let me go ahead and introduce you to the world. Over here is my nether portal. As I said, my nether portal... Um, spawned in the middle of the ocean, um, underground luckily, so I didn't like drown or anything, but right over here, there's my nether portal. You can see it, we've got a nice cave system here. Uh, I haven't really explored it a whole lot at this point, I'm just trying to, you know, get my, uh, get my self-grounded if you will but you can see it's a nice big ravine and we're at elevation uh 14 when we're standing or actually 13 when we're standing right next to the nether portal so already at diamond level and i have already actually found some diamonds so that's a good thing uh let's go ahead and equip this iron armor so we actually have something that can kind of protect us uh all right now through here that way, I believe, is spawn, right? Yes. Spawn is about 100 blocks that way. And that's the tunnel that I dug because I, uh, yeah. Let's just say that this is my second nether portal. And the first one spawned me basically at the world border on like a 10 by 10 island uh, with nothing on it. And I was like, well, survival island is fun and all, but... Right now, I kind of want actual space, you know. So, um, but yeah, this is my bay. This is the nether transport hub. Each player on the server will have their own little, they're calling them bays, basically a tunnel that goes to a nether portal. If you come through here, this will take you to spawn itself, which we will be decorating. That's another thing I should mention. One thing that also drew me to this server is that the server basically just started. Um, so everyone is starting 
fairly fresh. Uh, not a whole lot has been done to build up the world. Uh, one thing that I like is, unlike my Infinite Labs series, um, where I am basically seven months behind everybody else on the server, here we're all kind of starting on a clean slate. They're a little bit ahead of me, of course, since, uh, you know, I just started this today, but they're not seven months ahead of me. So that's definitely a good thing. They've got a nice community storage area here for any extras and whatnot you may have. This was extremely helpful to me when I started out. I was able to get some tools and stuff right off the bat. Up here is a dining hall project that we're working on. This will be like a big, huge, uh, great hall that we'll use for festivities and whatnot, I'm assuming. And then... I'm still trying to figure out where everything is here. I'm getting, I get lost fairly easily. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think it's over this way, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. There's some other farms and things down here. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So it's right over here is the exit. And they've got a little redstone powered gate portcullis thing. This is, uh, it's basically supposed to be a drawbridge. I actually think that this would look a lot better if they used iron bars. So maybe I'll talk with them about switching that out because iron bars actually work really, really well for like a chain link. Um, for basically chain links for a drawbridge or something like that. That might be a cool thing we can do. There's the church where we worship the almighty clock. Um, this is actually a church that's being built up by Snow, who is one of the other YouTubers on the channel. Uh, if you go to my channel, you'll see his channel under my recommended, uh, other small channels list. So check that out. Uh, we've got some markets in the works and some other building projects. Little furnace with a chimney. Yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely a chimney. Okay. For a second there, I thought it was something else, and I was like, really? Really, guys? This, it, too soon, too soon. Okay, so down here we got a nice little draw. That actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is the spawn area. So, uh, lots of stuff going on here. We're all kind of working together at this point to build up spawn. We will be, I'll definitely be doing some work on it tomorrow. Uh, might help out snow with the church a little bit, see if we can add some finishing touches to it. But all in all, I am very, very excited for, oh my gosh, I had not seen that windmill yet. Look at that. That is gorgeous. We have some very talented building, uh, builders on the server, it seems. Some, a lot of people who are considerably more talented than I am. So, that is awesome. It's a windmill. Let's head inside. And we've got a grindstone and everything. I actually think I took a look at this before when I was given my tour of the server. But I did not see the outside and realize that this is a giant windmill. This That makes it a hundred times cooler. But that's what our spawn building looks like right now. Um, not too bad, but I could definitely use some uh, dimension and some decorating on the outside. But as I said, this is still very, very early in the life of the server. So everything will definitely be built up in the future. We have your mom's generator. I mean, a cobblestone generator. We've got some sheep over here. I should probably... Let's get some wool real quick, because now that I think about it, I haven't even actually made a bed yet. And I should probably do that. Where's the gate? There's the gate. We'll just close this behind us, and I'm just going to gather a little bit of wool here. That should be enough. we got three pieces. So we'll close that. But yeah, this is the new server. So, um, I think I'm not going to make this really a super long episode because I'm still trying to get my bearings, I'm still trying to meet people, but this is a preview of things to come, if you will. So, if you enjoyed this episode, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, 
you will see a lot more of this server in the future, I can tell you that much right now. You can also follow me on Twitter, where it is Wells Knight Plays, or and you can also follow me on Facebook as well, where it is uh, Wells Knight Gaming, so check those out. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.